Hi everyone, it's Natalia Miller here, and today I'm going to present my J-Term project, which is about pigeons, genetics, and genealogy. I cut a lot of slides out of this um, presentation to make it fit time, so I'm sorry if it's a bit vague as to what it is. First, before I introduce you to my four top breeding pairs, I'm going to show you the colorful world of pigeons by introducing you to all the pig colors that our flock has. Now there's three basic colors in pigeons. There are only three. Red, blue, and brown. Red, blue, and brown in that order is the order of dominance, meaning that red is the most dominant and brown is the least dominant. Although three colors seem simple, there are more colors that mask these three colors. This is blue, or spread blue, which is black, actually. This is red, obviously, and this is brown, not to be confused with the dilute spread blue, which is done. Dilutes, or a faded out version of the three basic colors. This is silver, which is dilute blue. This is yellow, dilute red, and dilute brown is khaki. Now on to patterns. Patterns all have a unique pattern on their wing shield, unless they're barless. Now this is T-check, and T-check has little T's on each individual feather on the wing shield. It is the most dominant of all patterns. And then you have check, T-check's sister. And check looks like a checkerboard on the wing shield, and they are the second dom most dominant. And then patterns, or and then bars, which... You want a clean, clear wing shield with two stripes on the end, which are called bars. And then this freaky color, which is the weakest gene of all, barless. You want nothing, nothing at all on the wing shield. Spots and speckles. Now this bird is a model, and this is a grizzle. And as you can see, they're very different. A grizzle bird has a colored feather with white flecks on each barbule which are the strands of the feather. And this model bird is a colored bird with white feathers mixed in between. In. And there's another spotted bird and it's called Splash. And Splash is like a model, but it's a white bird with colored feathers. This is an Andalusian. An Andalusian bald head to be more exact. Now though we don't have bald heads, we do have a few Andalusians here and there. This is peach lace and this is gray lace. Gray lace is also called reduced. And we don't have peach laced, but we do have reduced or gray lace birds. Spread, the ultimate modifier. Now imagine you have two cans of spray paint. And you first choose to choose one to see how well it will cover the pattern. Now you spray paint this bird and you still see a pattern underneath. That's one copy of spread you'll see the pattern underneath. But if you use two cans of spray paint or two copies of the spread modifier, then you'll see no pattern. Instead, you'll get a perfect color of spread. Now, the breeding recommendations. For time's sake, I've only chose four pairs of birds to, sh to show and one punnet square. Out of a breeding with a silver bar hen, which she is blue, and a silver bar cock, he's green, I, all their babies, these guys, will be silver. Now these are cocks and they will be silver, carrying silver, and these are hens, which hens do not carry another gene. Out of a breeding with a black cock split for reduced and done and gray laced, <laughs> which is a black cock split for reduced and done and a gray laced hen, 50% of the boys will be black, split for reduced, and the other 50% will be homozygous gray laced, which will be two copies of reduced. 50% of the hens will be black, and the other 50% will be reduced. An occasional dun hen will hatch from time to time. Out of this breeding, I predict two bir large birds with beautiful stances. Color will definitely need to improve. Out of a breeding with yellow hen and a red cock split for dilute and blue, they will have reds, blues, silvers, yellows, and bars, and some checkers. A grizzled hen will pop up about 50% of the time. 
I predict a smaller bird with a nice stance and gorgeous color. Out of a breeding with a silver barred cock and a red barred hen, all boys will be car red carrying blue, and all hens will be blue. Some hens will be dilute, like their father, silver, and cocks will carry dilute. I think there will be smaller birds with a boating or hunkering stance. Eyes will need to improve. Thank you for being patient and watching my slide, and good luck on yours.